my Jesus. Asante. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Yes. Oh my, my. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I want to welcome you to a mighty December. To a great December. Supernatural dimensions of dynamics happening in your life. God manifesting a strange friend. Yes. It's a powerful December for you, my dear. The Lord is good. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You see, uh, 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 there is a great significance of this particular day, in this particular hour, as I'm talking. There are some things that are happening into your system, into your realm, into your life. God is manifesting himself. God is causing things to happen for thy sake, my God. Yes. There are open doors that are opening up for people. Yes, those that were locked. Those that were in form of curses. Yes, sickness and disease. I've been broken as I'm talking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's a December to remember. It's a December where God manifests himself in the realms of covenant upon your life. Yes, it's a time when when, when, when every creature that was created by God, yes, pay allegiance to thy presence. Why? Because there is the presence of God in you. It is time to manifest God. Yes, the time comes and now is when they that are dead shall hear the voice of the Lord. And they that hear shall come to life. So it's possible in the spiritual realm, man can operate as God. There are no limitations. In the spiritual realm, man is God among men. In the spiritual realm, man moves upon the realms of creation as an immortal. He cannot be destroyed because the capacity of man was fashioned, architectural design of man. He was fashioned to operate in the image and after the likeness of God. In the image and the likeness, the likeness, the character woo, of God. Man was created to operate in a certain dimension, in a certain way. And everything was created and it was operating after its kind. Everything was created after its kind. So man is a human. He was created to operate as man, after the kind of man, as the kind of Adam. So who really was Adam? We say Adam was the first man and that we should operate according to the first man. Because we are humankind. That kind that was created by God. Yes, there were men. Yes, there, there were people that existed upon this world. But there was a particular people that were created in his own image after his own likeness. There are those that were assimilated. There are those that were that were engulfed by the power and they were taken in. Yes. We are a kingdom, we are a force, we are a power, we are in charge. And those that they, those that, and they that do know their God, they shall do exploits. And that is what characterizes a Christian, a man of exploits. The Bible says in the first month, there were certain things that were purposed to happen. In the first month, the Bible says in the book of Numbers chapter 29 from verse 1, the Bible says, in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have an holy convocation. You shall do no service work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. It's a day of blowing the trumpets. This is a day of blowing the trumpets. It is a day of blowing the trumpets. Prophesy, son of man. Prophesy unto your issue. Prophesy unto your family. Prophesy unto your children. It is a day of blowing the trumpets. It's a day of sinking deeper into the wells of spiritual understanding. The wisdom of the most high. Yes. I want to prophesy over your life. You are coming out. I say you are coming out. This December is a December to remember. It's a prophetic dimension. It is what has been released in the spirit for your sake. It is what the spiritual realms have decreed. That it is a December to remember. God will manifest. God will see you through. No matter what pain you are going through, I want to promise you there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. No matter the situation you are passing through, the sickness and disease and the attacks, demonic attacks, whatever has been happening into your system, 
that has brought about a shaking up. I decree the mighty name of Jesus. The storms shall be calmed. The storms shall be calmed. No matter the intensity and the magnitude of their destruction, they shall be calmed. They shall be calmed. And Jesus calmed the storm. I want to tell you that there is, that there is possibilities where you see this people that, that things cannot work. I want to decree over your life that doors must open. And that is the work of the prophets to open doors for the people of God. That is the work of the prophets. And when they reached the Red Sea, the Bible says that Moses looked up and he was worried and he began to complain. He began to cry out and God spoke unto Moses and told Moses, why are you crying out to me? Because Moses had forgotten that he was a God operating in the midst of human beings. God had already spoken to Moses and he told Moses, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. So there was no battle. There was no need of contention. You cannot fight against this power. The Ark of the Covenant was a system of God's judgment. The Ark of the Covenant was God's presence operating in the midst of men. The Ark of the Covenant was a system of operation of the kingdom of God. The Ark of the Covenant was Elohim himself manifesting in the realms of men. Yes, the Ark of the Covenant. And whenever the Ark lifted up, the people would rise and they would walk and they would march. They would be marching, yes. The people were marching when the ark lifted up. And the ark, when the ark settled, the people relaxed. They were there. They were composed. They relaxed. So they moved according to the movement of the ark. The ark of the covenant was a system of God's directives. Yes. Divine direction. They were led by the ark of the covenant. Fire by night and the cloud by day. And God would employ an angel because of the Israelites. And he says unto the Israelites, speaks unto Moses, Moses, there's an angel that is going with you, my God. I'm sending my angel, the angel of my presence. That's why it's going to be a different December for you. The angel of his presence is marching with you. The angel of his presence has already gone ahead of you. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No weapon whatsoever fashioned against you shall prosper. This is a December to remember. This is a December to remember. Glory shall never be, shall, 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 shall not be an equation in your life. Glory is what covers you. You are blessed. Whoever spoke an evil agenda against you, that evil agenda is broken. Whoever spoke a curse against you this December, I, I come against that curse. It is broken. My authority is enough to shatter that curse. My authority is enough to break that bondage. My authority is enough to scatter their diabolical systems. And I command every power that is reigning over your life, whatever has made you to enter into realms of stagnation, that power ceases to operate henceforth in Jesus' mighty name. I break that power, scatter that dimension. It ceases to exist according to my word in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Oh my, oh my. It's a beautiful December. It's a beautiful December. Where you, I want to decree a blessing over your life, my brother, my sister. You are watching me from the telecar. You are watching me from different nations. You are watching me. Yes, I can see David Christ Nganga is online. David Christ Nganga. This December, may this December be a December to remember for you in the mighty name of Jesus. This December you shall be marveled. Greatness shall not depart from thy hands. Whatever you touch will prosper in Jesus' name. Susan Marwa is watching. Yes, Susan Marwa, I speak a blessing over your life. I speak dimensions of operations of, of angels in your life. Yes, you shall not go down. Whatever power was spoken into your life, I break that power in Jesus' mighty name. You are free. You are walking free. You are blessed. Go and become mighty. Go. Go and reign in the land. I give you a command to go and reign in the land. Go and take over. Overtake. Chata Kabogusha. Recover. In Jesus' mighty name. Susan Marwa, you are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. I want to speak a blessing to those who are online. Yes. If you are online, just say amen. Just say amen. I want to speak your name. I want to decree something over your name. 
this first of December, there are people I want to speak over their lives. Yes, Lucy, Ikababo Shakatapa. Lucy, God bless you. Lucy from Germany, God bless you. The Lord empower you. More grace, more anointing, more favor. This is your month. It's your December to remember. In this December, you will flourish. Greatness shall not depart from the habitation. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. 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 Ros Mobobia. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Anointing after anointing. Grace after grace. Supernatural connections. My God. Networking. Supernatural dimensions of power. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Baraka Mingi. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Eunice Wangechi, the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Baraka Mingi, this day of December, you are blessed. Increase and flourish and become mighty. Yes, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Ooh, I want to speak a blessing to some of the people that are on platform. Yes. I want to tell you that there is a spiritual significance of the first day of, of every month. It's a spiritual significance. Joshua chapter 4 verse 19 says, And the people came up out of Jordan on the tenth day of the first month and encamped in Gilgal in the east border of Jericho. And you see it many times the Bible speaks of the first month, speaks of the first day. There, there's a significance in the spiritual realm because in every first day and in every first month, Anything that comes first, there is a dimension of a portal that has opened in the realms of the spirit. And every spiritual being or any spiritual man with spiritual understanding would launch forth into the spirit and come to understanding what exactly is happening. Yes, in this month, there is a, an open portal. In this day, particularly, there is an open portal, an open portal, and people must be blessed. It is a month where you soar into the realms of the spirit. Yes, it is a, it's a month of a, a strange significance. There is a strange significance of this month. Yes, yes, Numbers 28 from verse 11. Let me teach you something, how to operate as a mortal, as an immortal among the mortals. I want to teach you about spiritual understanding. I want to sink you deeper into the understandings of the spirit. This information cannot be found in the realms of men. It can only be downloaded in the realms of the spirit because it is the Holy Spirit that searches the deep things of God. They are the things of God and they are what is called the deep things of God. Yes, you might be accessing the things of God, yes, but there are people, there are men, there are men, flesh and blood, who can operate and access the deep things of God. And Jesus spoke and he said unto Peter, ask them a question, who do, do people say I am? And they were marveled. And who do you say I am? And they say stories. They began to tell stories. And then this man just appeared from nowhere. Peter, Peter, my friend, oh my God. Peter appeared from nowhere. And Peter said, he looked at Jesus and he said, Ah, 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 Jesus Christ, ah, ah, I have been working with you. I know you. Yes, we have been eating together. We've been moving together. Yes, I know how you teach. Yeah? Your teachings are sometimes peculiar, strange. You know, you can assess strange things. I, particularly, I want to understand you, but this day, this particular first day of December, Peter said, and he looked at Jesus and said, ah, ah, you are the son of the Most High God. You are the son of the living God. There is an operation that was happening in Peter. That same day, that first day of December, I'm, I, I am creating an image in the spirit so that it can be manifested into your life. It is the first day of December and something strange happened in the realms of the spirit. He began to operate in a certain realm and Jesus spoke strange things in the life of Peter. Jesus looked at Peter and said, you are the rock and upon this rock I shall be in my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail over it. Yes, Jesus spoke strange mysteries in the life of Peter. As the other disciples were watching, as the other disciples were marveling at Peter, Peter was swimming in strange realms. And Jesus said, Peter, no, flesh and blood cannot reveal this unto you. Jesus looked at the dimension of this man and he understood that Peter was moving in a realm that mortal men cannot understand because Jesus is the son of God. Yes, 
Jesus is present. He is here. He's existing. He's with us. And he's asking questions. And Peter is saying that uh, uh, Peter, no, Jesus, you are, you are the Christ, the son of the most high living God. And Jesus looks at Peter. And Jesus understands that this man, something is happening in the life of Peter. In that first day of December, just as a day of this, that there's something happening into your spirit as I'm talking to you. There's a strange power that is operating into your life. There's a power that is bringing down strongholds. There's a dimension God is launching you into. Peter says that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the most high living God. He goes ahead saying that he is the son of the most high living God. Where did this information come from? Peter, what are you doing? Where have you sunk in? Peter had sunk into the wells of power. He was swimming into the realms of revelation. And Peter was speaking strange mysteries. He calls Jesus the Christ, the son of the most high living God. And Peter, my God, Peter, 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 my friend. Oh my God, Peter. And Jesus speaks strange mysteries in the life of Peter. He calls him the rock. And upon this rock I shall build my church. Peter, you are the foundation. You have been assessing things from my father. That the son of God was present. But Peter had gone ahead. My God. It is the anointing to overtake. Peter had gone ahead and he was assessing information from the Father. The Son was present. He was with the Son, Jesus. But Peter was assessing information. He was speaking to the Father. The Father was downloading strange information in the life of Peter. And Peter was now being overwhelmed. And he had an understanding that no man had. Because when Jesus was walking on water, this is Peter. He said, Jesus, if you are the one, call me. If you are the one, call me. And Jesus called him. And Peter was there. He stepped on the water and he began to walk. Peter walked on water. He took the first step, the second step, the third step. It was possible. The man was swimming in a strange way. Whatever Peter felt when he was, he was walking on water, no man could feel such a feeling. You know what Peter felt? It could not be understood. And the other disciples were looking at Peter and they were telling Peter, the wind, Peter, you will sink. Peter, you will sink. And that is what they have been speaking into your system. That you will sink, that you will go down, that you will not make it. Yes. Yeah, he, he, he's gotten himself. Let us see how far he will go. Yes, they have given you a term. They have given you a, a, a duration. Let us see. Let us give him one month. Let us give him two months. That is what they have been saying into your life. Some have gathered, they have sat down together to discuss your affair. This first month of December, every door that was shut in your life, it opens. This first month of December, it is a December to remember. May this December be a December to remember. May it be a launching pad for your ministry. You are a politician. This month, let it be a month of dimensions of operation. Wherever you go, you shall be favored. People shall favor you. People shall locate you. Your blessing shall locate you. Your allocation shall locate you. I, my God, you shall swim in the realms of power. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Yes, I can see people are on board. You see Lukongondo. Yes, God bless you. God empower you in Jesus' name. Be Max Malau. Be Max Malau. The Lord empower you. Supernatural dimensions. Greatness is your portion. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Every dimension of occultism against your life, it dies in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever path that is shut, it opens this day in Jesus' mighty name. Every dimension of realms of demons against your life, they die in the mighty name of Jesus. Open doors for Bimax Malau. Open doors. Open doors. I speak open doors. Open and enter by force. Enter by fire. For the Lord is with you in Jesus' mighty name. Pamela Masaru, I, um, I open doors for you. Pamela, open doors. Open doors, Pamela Masaru. Open doors in Jesus' mighty name. Open doors for your children. Open doors for your siblings. Open doors for your family in Jesus' mighty name. Any man that is sick in your family, I command that sickness to die in Jesus' mighty name. Any sickness that is in your family that is traveling through the bloodline, Pamela Masaru, that sickness that is traveling through the bloodline, I shatter that power in the mighty name of Jesus. That voice is silenced this day in Jesus' mighty name. Pamela Masaru, you are blessed. Yes, 
Pamela Masaru, yes, my doors are open. Surely your doors are open this day. In Jesus' mighty name. Mungu akubariki sana. Mungu akutie nguvu. Akuongeze neema. Yes, more doors are opening for people. More doors are opening for people. It's a December to remember. It's a December to remember. Yes, the Bible says. Numbers chapter 28 from verse 11. And in the beginnings of your months, ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot. In the beginnings of your months, you shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord. It's in the beginnings of your months. This day is a day to sow into the kingdom. It's a day to sow into the kingdom. It's in the beginning of the month. This is a mystery that when the Israelites followed these strange mysteries, they were blessed because these are oracles. They were written because for our sake, for our benefit, for our upliftings, yes, for our success. Yes, the laws of God, you flaunt them and they shall flatten you. Listen to me. In the beginnings of your months, every month, make sure you have a burnt offering. You have an offering unto the Lord. Here the Bible says two young bullocks, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot. It speaks of a dimension. It speaks of an understanding that God had really blessed the Israelites to a point that they could be giving two young bullocks and one ram and seven lambs of the first year without spot. Yes, they were being blessed. They were increasing in a certain manner. The, the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 1, that the Israelites were really increasing. How they were increasing, it could not be understood. And Pharaoh looked at the Israelites and he had an understanding that they were growing in the new number because the land was filled with them. Means that when it came to a political contention, the Israelites were in a capacity to vote for their people and their people would automatically take the seat without any contention, any serious opposition. Why? Because they had grown in number. And so they sought for a particular way. They sought for an understanding of how to stop them from reproducing, number one. To stop them from increasing, spiritually and physically. It was a means to dilute them, to scatter them, to make sure they are caged. And this understanding was successful because it caused the Israelites to stay in captivity for 430 years. That is enough time for generations and generations to be born and to be born. And the Israelites lived in captivity and they were okay. And they were all right until they began to weep. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham. God did not remember their cries. No, God remembered something. He remembered the system of operation that Abraham had already set up because of his children. Abraham had set up the system of the altar, the system of covenant. He remembered his covenant with Abraham. He did not remember your cries. He does not remember that you are, you are sacked from Job. No. God does not remember that. God remembers his covenant that he has with you. God does not remember how much, how much money you give to church. No. It's not how much money you give to church that makes you a good Christian. No. It is how you give it. The tabernacle was built in a particular way. And Moses was spoken unto God. He was told by God, build the tabernacle according to the pattern. It is a pattern. It is a dimension. It is a realm. It is an architectural design of how the tabernacle must operate. It is the operating system of the tabernacle. So the, the moment you understand that the tabernacle has a way of operation, that there is a way the Israelites understood, that when they followed such protocols, they followed such ways of lives that were decreed upon by the ordinances of Elohim, we get to understand that the Israelites were unstoppable. They were a force to be reckoned. Abraham's attack on the five kings was a mop up operation. Yes, we cannot be said to have won the battle until we take possession of the land. You understand me? We have to be sensitive in the spirit. Yes. What is true in the realms of the spirit applies also in the physical. You understand? Whoever controls the air can control the land. Yes. That's why there were particular happenings that were happening in the life of uh, 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 Daniel. He prayed 21 days. Nothing happened. 
it was strange because this man could pray what when he spoke creation followed creation obeyed daniel was the first to be reckoned daniel daniel was not just a human being no daniel had ceased to become the humanity in daniel had died and he was operating in the realms of divinity that is a realm with the serious understanding of life this man had serious understanding of the spirit when he prayed creation would follow it would obey it would it would go in his knees daniel master of the magicians he prayed for 21 days nothing happened it was a serious matter and then from the corridors of eternity from the corridors of power from the depth of creation from the power from the depth of elohim came a force and michael was sent my god and he fought against a principality a, a principality a creation known as a principality a principality principles they are principality they have their own ways of operation when they attack a system they make that system to operate according to what they demand they are called principalities principalities the principalities were, was the principality was able to stop the move of daniel he was able to stop to arrest those prayers until a certain dimension of power came from the realms of power from the realms of god michael came and then Gabriel was there to give information of whatever the happenings were happening. And he told him that there was a prince of Persia that was able to stop the move. He was able to, to contend against your, 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 your declarations, my God, until a force came from heaven. I'm teaching you deep things that will open doors for your life. I don't know what power is arresting you. I don't know what power is fighting against you. But I'm speaking as a prophet. I'm speaking as a prophet in the mighty name of Jesus. This first day of December, you are coming out, you are blessed, you increase, you become mighty. You are blessed this day. You are blessed this day. You are blessed this day. You are blessed. From henceforth, there is no curse in your life. You shakabarabo shatakaba. There is no curse in your life. Go and flourish. Go and flourish. According to my word no opposition for this man no opposition for this lady no opposition for their children no opposition for their children my god no i speak a blessing over your life increase and become mighty in the mighty name of jesus this first day of december no father these offerings are blessed in the mighty name of jesus as they give their first fruits as they give their offerings as they as they give for it is written that in this day the book of numbers 28 verse 11 you have spoken it that it's an ordinance it is a rule that the israelites followed and the ark of the covenant was able to defend them father lord almighty you will defend these people you will defend their children you will defend their families you will defend their businesses you will defend their lives in jesus mighty name barikiwa sana god bless you so much have a beautiful December. It's a December to remember. Mungu kubariki. As you give your offerings, also the Lord bless the work of your hands. The Lord establishes covenant into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you as a prophet. You are blessed. Any man that speaks a blessing over your life is blessed. Any power that dares you dies. In Jesus' mighty name. Until next time, the Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.